Hey there, just a quick reminder, we have a mentorship program if you're looking for personalized coaching and mentorship to help guide you to the next level of your interior design business, whatever that might look like for you, whether it's processes and procedures or what services to offer to how to incorporate wellness, intention, or spirituality into your projects, come join us over at designcoven.com forward slash join. Or if you're just in search to connect with other like-minded interior designers, you can join our free community also located at designcoven.com forward slash joy. You're listening to the Holistic Interior Design Business Podcast. This is a podcast that guides you as a new or inspiring independent interior designer navigating your entrepreneurial path. Here with my over 20 years experience, I will share my holistic approach to design with intention and ancient practices, including feng shui, all incorporating mind, body, and spirit into my design projects. You will also learn from seasoned interior designers as they give strategies and insight of how they built their businesses and continue to work in the field. Together, we will discover supportive trade partners, new ideas, creatives, and inspiring artists from around the world. I am your host, Rachel Lorraine Crawford. In today's episode, I have a solo episode for you all, and it's diving into the question of, do I need an interior design degree to be an interior designer? I get asked that question all the time from aspiring interior designers and we will dive in. But before that, I'm gonna go ahead and set our space. Ring our bell. It's connecting us to the present moment. And I'm gonna light our candle. Again, I'm always using um, the Mithras beeswax candles. They're just absolute magic. Setting the intention of connection, communication, and creativity with all of you. And then today I'm pulling from the Modern Witch Tarot deck. I love reading these cards with my clients. And then so let's check out the card for all of us here today. I'm going to read the card right side up. Mm, it's the Emperor. It's that beautiful emperor energy, which is fire initiation action. Um, and also creating a foundation, creating a foundation for others to, um, to build upon. I love thinking of the emperor as somebody that is creating space for multiple people. They're going out front. It's the card of Aries and they're igniting fire, passion, and desire into the world. And I hope that inspires you today. I am nourishing myself with some decaf coffee and my fun Earth Co. morning routine, um, which improves energy, focus, and mood. So it's got three different mushrooms here. So I am connecting with this beautiful plant, our fungi um, medicine this morning to keep me focused. Alrighty, so the question is, do I need a design degree to be an interior designer? The short answer on that is yes and no. So we've got a two part answer on that. Um, before I kind of go into that, I want to share a little bit about my story and um, my level of education so you can see my perspective and where I'm coming from. I started in the design world, I would say in high school um, through theater um, with set design and costumes. My first job was at Sears in 1999 and I worked in the home department, of course. I worked in the bath, the bedding, the small appliances and the drapery department. So I uh, was fully immersed into the home from the very, very beginning. I didn't know how to actually enter the interior design field. So for me, I did go to school. I was one of those people that didn't um, have a lot of money. I came from a very um, humble background, you know, living in a small uh, two bedroom apartment. By the time I was in middle school, I was sleeping on the floor. There just wasn't space for me. And then we ended up moving into another space when I was a junior in high school, where we actually lived in a one, one room with my mom, my brother and myself for a year. 
And I knew I didn't want to go into debt. I just didn't want to add that to my plate. So I went to San Diego Mesa College uh, where I was able to afford my schooling. So that was where I started. I received my associates in interior design um, through San Diego Mesa College in 2005. And I did that part or I went to school full time at night and I worked full time through an insurance company during the day. I was very involved in ASID and there was a convention in town just before I graduated. I set the intention of getting a job. I created my resume and that's just one of those things where you really have to set out the intention that you want to do this. Uh, I didn't have much of a plan, but I knew I needed my resume because my intention was to get a job at that convention. And it was lunchtime and we, I looked around the room and I was very intentional about who I sat next to. I, I saw a table that seemed like they were professionals. They seemed like they were designers. So I just made myself a space on that table. And I remember sitting next to the woman and she had mentioned that the interior designer at her firm was looking for an assistant. And I said, oh, you know, what are the qualifications? I can do that. And they're like, okay, great. Why don't you send me your resume and I'll forward it over? Well, I had my resume physically in hand. So I said, here it is. And they were very impressed by that. So that's one of those things of not only being at the right place at the right time, but also making your space for your own luck. So getting into this field, you know, in a way that you set intentions and then you also do the action, right? You, you put yourself in those places so that things can happen. So I worked for that company. It was called H Johnson interiors. And they also had a showroom for the public where I was on the floor doing retail, um, working with the public. And I was exposed to high end traditional lines. So I was on the ground, basically learning um, how to price from these crazy price books. I learned about traditional design. I learned from companies that were super, super old, well known in the US. So I really started there. And then in 2006, I went to Ethan Allen where I learned about that, that company. Again, I was forefront on the floor working with the public. And then I left there in 2007 to work for Mixture, which was a design showroom that really focused on European contemporary design. So I really was immersed in that realm of design and I connected and made relationships with local artists because all the art that was there were local. And I helped um, with purchasing and all of the, the ins and outs of a design business. I was also a designer in that space. I took a little break to have my first child. And then I became a design assistant to a, another designer uh, the next year in 2012 to 2014. I was running her business. I was doing all the paperwork. I was checking out the ins and outs of all the things. And then I went off on my own in 2014 when our job dried up under that design firm. And then I was on my, on my own for about four years where in 2018, I uh, was presented by my now design partner, Carl, to join forces and create a new design business. And that's where we are now with our design business, Crawford Pelini. So looking back, I see that it took me nine years to go off on my own from leaving design school. And it was about seven years of retail experience, seven years of working with the public um, versus going off on my own with one-on-one clients. So that was my journey. And that was all with an associate's degree. I realized when I was first out in the field, I was getting the same jobs as people that had bachelor's degrees, but I do wish that there was a faster way of doing this. And that's partly why I designed uh, the design coven is to kind of get you on a fast track. Now back to the question of, do I need a design degree to be an interior designer? So when somebody asks me that I'm always asking, what is your goal? What is the intention? Where do you plan on working? And, and the two sort of blocks here is, do you plan on working for a large design firm? Or are you looking to create your own business and work for yourself? So if you are wanting to work for a design firm, the answer is yes. They're always asking for a bachelor's degree in interior design, being proficient in AutoCAD, SketchUp, Revit, all of those programs, even Adobe, Photoshop, and um, Illustrator, all of those things. They really want somebody that can handle that because they've got different positions within the firm that need that skill set. And if you don't have your degree, you won't get into that space, right? If you're planning on going off on your own, then the answer is 
No, um, you don't technically need a design degree, but I do recommend certain classes that you need to take um, in order to accomplish that. And if you are going to go on your own, I do recommend working for somebody, another designer, if you can, so that you can really get immersed into that space. Um, and at the very least joining the coven, you will get experience from designers. And of course you'll have me to kind of put you on the fast track just through the mentorship and having somebody to lean on, to ask your questions. You know, I didn't have any of that when I was going through my design journey. So I was really getting all of my insight from all the experiences. And it, again, it was nine years of design experience of being in the trenches before going off on my own. So if you were to go off on your own and you don't necessarily want to get a design degree, but you're interested in maybe taking some classes, I would definitely look into your community college. And um, I would for sure take an intro to interior design because that's gonna give you your design principles. I would take an AutoCAD class because you're going to need to know how to read plans. You're gonna to wanna to know how to navigate a plan. Um, SketchUp I would take too, if you can. You're gonna to wanna to take a space planning class to be able to navigate the planning of space and getting really acquainted with space. I would take a color theory class, a textile class, a lighting class in materials and resources. At the bare minimum, I would take those classes. Um, now, if you feel like you don't have time to do that or you're in your 30s or 40s, 50s, 60s, and you're looking at shifting your career midway, you can definitely do this without those courses or without a degree. That's gonna be more about building your team and getting somebody that does have that experience that you don't hold to, um, to come in and supplement you for that. So I would recommend classes if you can. And then of course, joining um, the mentorship program just so that you can get immersed into the space. And by immersing yourself into the design space, you are gonna get a bit more clarity about what it is exactly that you wanna do, especially if you're um, new and you don't have any experience at all. If you have no experience, with work, I would go toward design school at the very least, getting your um, associates and then seeing about getting a job like at a showroom or an industry partner's um, place just to kind of get into that space, getting an internship. And by being in the mentorship, you're going to meet active interior designers. That's where a lot of this comes in. I met the designer that I was working for because they came into um, Mixture, the showroom that I was working at. Um, so they were familiar with me. So you're gonna you're gonna meet designers within the coven. You're gonna learn about products in areas of design that you might not have known of, thought about before. You're gonna be introduced to different brands and vendors. So there's definitely opportunities there. We have a built-in resource of contractors, vendors, and showrooms. So you're gonna have access to resources. That's another thing I didn't have when I was first starting out. I had no idea where to go, um, how to get a contractor, getting anyone to even work with me because I had no experience. You're going to be able to go to networking events and receive opportunities that you might not have otherwise known about. You'll be able to build relationships with your peers and of course, industry professionals. So that is like the main, again, the main reason why I created the Design Coven was to really give you the support, um, especially if you're not going to go to design school or you're just sort of thinking about it and you're not quite sure what direction to take it. And there's already been huge success within the membership. We've got somebody that doesn't have any interior design um, experience get hired into uh, a showroom, a design firm. And then I've also got somebody else that, um, you know, I had a, a designer come to me asking for a junior designer or somebody that can help with AutoCAD. And I had somebody that I can refer them to. So there's opportunities all over the place and available to you. It's really about putting yourself into those positions so that you can access that. I hope that helped. I know that the, the answer to the burning question of do I need an interior design degree to be an interior designer was both yes and no. And it really depends on the situation and your intentions and where you are in your life as well, you know, where you are with your um, work experience, because that also is going to dictate 
how you approach interior design. And if you are interested or you still have questions about entering the interior design industry, I welcome you to send me an email, um, send me a direct message on Instagram, any of those things. And I'd be happy to take a look at your situation and help guide you uh, on your path to becoming a holistic interior designer. You've been listening to the Holistic Interior Design Business Podcast. If it's one that you have been enjoying, please share with anyone else that you think can benefit from this knowledge and leave us a five-star review that helps us get seen and found by other new and aspiring interior designers. And if you're looking for mentorship, I invite you to join our club here at the Design Coven. It's a bridge between school and real life interior design. We get in much deeper there. We have virtual and in-person events. So everyone is welcome. You don't need to have a design degree to be part of it. Just an interest in holistic interior design. I also want to thank our editor, Marcy Ferry. And lastly, Kinseth Thibodeau, who is our music composer. Until next time, be well, and we will see each other soon.